The 2017 Porsche Cayenne SE Hybrid Platinum Edition plug-in hybrid thumped up onto car and driver's California scales and punished them to the tune of 5,373 pounds. That's 54 pounds less than we recorded for the slightly less lavish non-platinum edition version during testing in Michigan. Hey, California gravity is groovier than Michigan gravity. The Cayenne Hybrid's monstrous mass means that a recognizably Porsche-like driving experience doesn't come naturally. It needs to be cajoled and, sometimes, tricked to deliver the feedback, adhesion, connection, and sense of satisfaction that should always come with Porsches. OK, now throw the plug-in hybrid system into the mix. The electrical substance of the e-hybrid system is conceptually a carryover from the now superseded Panamera e-hybrid including a Saudi-sourced 333-horsepower supercharged 3.0-liter V6. It's an evolutionary half-leap forward from the first Kylan hybrid system as well. The electric motor, generator produces 95 horsepower and 229 pounds to foot of torque, 41 horses and 66 pounds to foot less than the motor in the 2018 Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid. It's fed by a 10.8 kWh lithium-ion battery pack, mounted under the cargo floor, that can be replenished from an optional onboard 7.2 kW charger using a standard CJ1772 connector or from Porsche's own charging system that mounts on an owner's garage wall. Combine the internal combustion engine's output with the electric motors and the total available thrust is 416 horsepower at 5,500 revolutions per minute with 435 pounds to foot of torque on call from 1250 revolutions per minute. It all goes into an 8-speed automatic transmission and out through both axles to 4295-35 R21 Yokohama Advance Sport V105 tires. And it works. But when the battery's charge drops to the point where the Kylan must operate in hybrid mode, the performance slags off. In these situations, it needs 6.8 seconds to achieve 60 miles per hour and getting to 100 miles per hour takes 17.7. The sensation from the driver's seat is like the difference between riding a thoroughbred and plowing a field with an old nag. That's more illusion than reality. After all, 6.8 seconds to 60 miles per hour may not be super quick, but it's not incredibly slow, either. Among the e-hybrid's many driving modes, the most interesting is the e-power setting, which allows the vehicle to run solely on the electric motor at up to 78 miles per hour that's 95 horsepower struggling against more than 2.5 tons. Speed isn't this mode's modus operandi. The logistics of juggling charge levels while transporting the vehicle to CD's test location made gathering meaningful acceleration data in e-power mode impossible. Porsche claims that the Cayenne e-hybrid will reach 60 mph in 8.9 seconds running on electricity alone. If true, that's two-tenths behind a four-cylinder Ford Fiesta equipped with an automatic transmission.